Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, today I want to talk to you about a circumvallate placenta. At my 20 week ultrasound they discovered that my placenta is circumvallate. This condition is pretty rare. It happens in only 1-2% to of pregnancies and there's nothing that caused it. It just is a structural variation in the placenta. So I want to say that when I was told that I had a circumvallate placenta, I was very nervous about what could happen and when you google it, of course, you freak yourself out because you see all the negative things that could happen, but what was wonderful for me to hear was the success stories from my sister-in-law who's a midwife. She said she's seen it before and everything was fine. And I've had one person reach out to me on a Facebook group saying how she had a wonderful healthy baby boy uh, just a little bit early but that everything went well. So it gives me a lot of hope and I hope that if you have a circumvallate placenta that um, this video might help you and encourage you as well. So I did a lot of research online and there's not much about it but I did find a good website that had some uh, interesting information about it and the website's name is tanderist.com so that's t-a-n-d-u-r-u-s-t dot com and this is where I found my information so a circumvallate placenta happens when the fetal membranes of the placenta fold over and it does like it double backs so what um, you'll see on an ultrasound picture is it's kind of curved in instead of attaching on the sides all the way it curves up and the midwife told me that when the placenta will be delivered you'll see this thick white ring around it so in a lot of cases where a woman has a circumvallate placenta everything will be fine in the end and she will be healthy and the baby will be healthy I've heard of a few cases that it's completely fine and nothing wrong happened, but there are many risks associated with it. One of the risks is that the blood supply and nutritional supply will be compromised. So during the third trimester, the baby might stop growing because it won't be getting enough nutrients because this band is blocking it from getting as much as it can. The other big issue with it is the risk of placental abruption. That is when the placenta tears from the wall. Other things that could go wrong is uh, a preterm delivery and reduced amniotic fluid. The midwife told me that there is nothing that we can do about it right now. There's no real treatment for it. The only thing is that they'll monitor me a lot closer. So she told me that from 32 weeks on I will have routine ultrasounds and maybe even non-stress tests because they want to check up on the baby, see if it's growing well, see if it has enough fluid, enough blood supply, and um, if anything does go wrong, then they can um, give a steroid shot for the lungs to develop faster and maybe induce me. So on this website, it says that most women are advised to take complete bed rest once they have been diagnosed with this. But my midwife never told me anything about it, so um, she, I am continuing on, but I'm just being careful of what I am doing, like not doing too much and not lifting heavy things. Obviously, you're not supposed to when you're pregnant, but I'm being extra careful. So thank you for watching. I am going to try to do as many videos as I can of pregnancy updates, so if you would like to keep seeing videos, please subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. Bye! Here's my bump shot for 22 weeks. <laughs>